The Federation of International Gymnastics is the governing body for gymnastics worldwide and has stated their task is to ensure the safety of all athletes. That includes deciding which skills are allowed to be performed and their level of difficulty, as well as establishing rules to protect the gymnasts and preserve the direction of the discipline. In this video, we'll take a look at skills that have been banned from the code of points over the years. The Corbett Flip From a stand on the high bar, this release skill consists of a salto backward and a stretched position to hang. It's named after former Soviet gymnast Olga Corbett, who successfully performed it at the 1972 Olympics. This move was banned after 1985, when the code declared it illegal to stand on top of the bars, not only for safety reasons since it's highly dangerous, but also because it disrupts the flow of the routine. Nevertheless, it's still one of the most jaw-dropping elements in gymnastics. The Mukina Flip Similar to the Corbett Flip, this one also involves standing on the top of the high bar, but it's even more impressive since it includes a 360 degree turn. The Mukina flip consists of a salto backward in a stretched position with a full twist to hang, and it's named after former Soviet gymnast Elena Mukina. It was banned from the code of points for identical reasons. Standing dismounts. Dismounts standing on top of the high bar were also banned when it became illegal to do so. Some gymnasts were actually flipping over the low bar, which can be even more dangerous. The most common skills were a layout, a layout with a full twist, or with a double twist. There are also versions from a sitting position on the bar. The Thomas Salto Named after male gymnast Kurt Thomas, this acrobatic skill consists of a one and a half salto backward in a tucked position with one and a half twists to roll out before standing up. Rollout skills have been banned in women's gymnastics for almost 30 years, but have only been prohibited in men since 2017. They're considered some of the most dangerous and riskiest skills in the sport because of how precise the landing must be in order to avoid injuries. Two weeks before the 1980 Olympics, Elena Mukina under-rotated the landing while training the salto, and was left permanently quadriplegic after injuring her neck. Unfortunately, it took more than 10 years after the incident for the Federation to take a definitive stand regarding rollout skills. At the time, the Soviet Federation was very secretive about the events surrounding Mukina's injury. Forward rollouts. While the Thomas Salto was done in a tucked position, there were variations of the skill in different shapes, including layouts or straddled layouts. The timing of the landing needed to be near perfect to avoid either under-rotation, which would lead to landing on the chin, or over-rotation, landing on the back of the head. Thankfully, all skills finishing in rollouts are now banned for safety reasons. What do you think would be the value of these skills if they were allowed?